Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Tyson Denez. I run the Farming Simulator modding page, Denez Farms Farming Simulator Modding. And, uh, today we're live again on no, uh, Autumn Oaks. And uh, we're going to be testing the uh, tie stall farm again. So let's, uh, let's get started here. Let's uh, park the disc. Sorry, I'm a little thrown off. We were talking about some drama in the community again. Hey, Kyle, how's it going? Nope, tractor won't go in reverse. Tractor still won't go in reverse. There we go. We're just going to back this disc in here for now, get this out of the way. You just nonchalantly moved down here? Yeah, I told you guys, going live. No, I'm not going to move any of y'all down here. <laughs> Dude. For that. I moved myself. <laughs> yeah, I'm lucky enough I can move myself. It, it's, it's it's nice to have some silence when you're streaming this late at night sometimes. Yeah. Hey Colton, how was your trip? How was your drive? Oh, 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 oh. that was a little... So in other words, do I need to invite Cattle Ranch? Uh, can we just ban him? No. He is useful at times. I've never seen it. Oh, uh, well, usually you're asleep when we were on our banning sprees. What? Okay, apparently <laughs> this disc doesn't fit. We're just beef farming it in here. Did you just use the term beef farming? <laughs> yeah. <it> in there? <laughs> Once were again. Were you not here for that one stream? Perfect. Were you not here for that one stream? I was here for. I watched part of it. I wasn't in BC for it though. Oh, we were just. We were. We were making jokes about beef farmers. You know how beef farmers oh. in Ontario are, right? Where they just. Yeah. Lot, especially in our area, where they just use the. Well, I was down, um, hence away, and there's a farm where they literally just dump the haylage in the pits. Don't cover it. Oh yeah. Just dump it in, and three or like two mixer trucks go in, and. Uh, that's that's two guys' job. They just feed cows all day long. Oh yeah, there's a big that's farm the, that way. Hey, uh, Liam, that one's from Appalachian's Botting, but there's another one that's almost identical that's public from, uh... What's that John ATS guy's page? You know, is it like just farm some screenshots? Do you know, you know what I'm talking about? There's a, I don't know his name. Oh, you're in Nevada now. Well, you're just all, you're just all over the place, aren't you, Colton? Uh oh. <laughs> I don't know you're in Ontario, Tate. I, I don't mean any offense to you guys. I just say it. Uh, around here, at least, I find the. Uh... Why would this thing move? I don't know that it's just around here. Uh... Well, yeah, it. I. It might just be every beef farmer. I, no offense. <laughs> well, I don't know. There is. My dad used to fix equipment for guys, this guy who literally, wherever he last used the equipment, that's where he left it. He took the truck and went home and just left it. He'd have to, you know, he'd, be, he, he, the, you know, his swather would still be sitting in the field he last mowed. It's just, I don't know. Like, I, I, I love beef, but I, I, I do have to poke fun at the fact, at, their, at some of their practices. Uh, some dairy farms are like that too, though. Yeah, they are. Their barns are clean, but their equipment, it, it's big rough. Well, see, the reason why this stereotype exists, Tayden, is because so when you... So Tayden, Tayden's in the zone, we're making fun of them. Yeah, he's, he's literally, this is really going bad for me. But uh, yeah. the, the stereotype, um, it comes from when you're driving out in the country, and you just see a bunch of uh, beef cattle in the pasture, and the guy's front yard looks like a junkyard, and, you know, a stereotype's born. It's, it just goes like that. But seriously, I, I, I love eating beef. I got nothing against beef farmers. I just like to poke fun at what some of them do. I get why they do it, though. I mean, like, if your equipment's already beat, why would you why would you waste your time putting it in the shed, right? Uh, but there's guys with NRXs that they, they sit outside year-round. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh. I've seen a couple of farmers with brand-new ADARs. They sit outside year-round. Okay, they don't have a... 
Uh, none of the beef farms around me are that big that I know of. They're all, uh... How am I doing tonight? I'm pretty good. I'm hoping to get my ATV out tomorrow. I was gonna yeah, get it out tonight, but it took too long to get the winch on. When you're profitable, you don't have to protect your equipment nearly as much as those, you know, dairy farmers that are still running 4440s as their main tractors. That was my old neighbor. Main tractor works, uh, well, besides loader tractors, is the fan. That thing. Yeah. yeah, don't get me wrong, Tayden. There's probably, there's probably guys, there's a lot of beef farmers out there that I would never... I honestly never notice because you know everything's all cleaned up when you drive by. You don't think anything of it, but like it's just it, it's just they really they really push that stereotype that they just some of the smaller guys especially, and I, I never really understood why they do it. But I know the one guy my dad dealt money. with. Yeah, I, I know the guy my dad dealt with. He uh, he loved doing that. He he never he never cared for his equipment. That's why my dad was always out there. He's a farm mechanic, right? Where do you have to go in Ontario to see an actual large-scale potato farm, Brendan? I know the Amish guys out by St. Jacobs do it. I've, I've driven by potato farms out there, but they're small fields. Well, I better, uh, better figure out what I'm doing here. Probably better to make up and down passes now. Hopefully not run this thing out of fertilizer. I didn't think there was much farming going up in Sudbury. I thought that was all beef farming too. Like mostly uh, pasture land, because I don't think you guys can grow much up there because of the rocks and whatnot. And the, it's always, you know, you guys take a lot longer to thaw than we do down here. They're growing potatoes in Sudbury? That's what he says. Hmm. Oh, Thomas, I didn't know you are in Ontario as well. I've been down to Norwich once to look at a Jeep, but it was in the winter, so I, I didn't... I know they do I a lot of. Uh, I know they grow a I lot. I know Open Norwich has a lot of uh, a lot of the uh, hand picked stuff like uh, asparagus and all that stuff too. That's on the outskirts of Norwich. Just head more towards Tilsonburg Bay. That it's the um, asparagus stuff like that. The dill is big down there. They do a lot of rye. Yep. Does rye grow extremely tall compared to wheat? I don't know, because I've never been down there. Well, it looks a bit taller growing. I haven't been, like, near when they're harvesting it. Because I only go by there going to the lake. Yeah. If you think about it, like, a lot of the potatoes in, like, the United States are grown in, like, Idaho, North Dakota, which is all pretty north, like, north around, like, Sudbury or north. That makes sense, so. actually. Uh, Colton says, uh, when he used to haul hopper loads, he'd, he'd load up in, uh, Idaho. Yeah, I had no idea. I didn't know that about Sudbury. I, I, I always thought those were all, like, ranch-style farms. <laughs> hey, Kyle, do they have steel wheels and no windows in them, too? I thought so, Thomas. I wasn't sure, because I drove my CJ out uh, to, uh, what was it, Port Bruce, where uh, Buddy fell through the bridge, check out the bridge. And as I was driving along the, the road there that runs along the water, there was some crop, and I couldn't tell what it was. It looked like a cereal grain, and it, it was blocking my view of the beach. I'd love to watch potato farming in real life. Uh, uh, Kyle, in old school farming, somebody posted a while ago a 90, what was it, 8400T, I think it was, pulling an FP240 with steel tracks on it and no windows. It was a bunch of Amish guys. It was, it was actually kind of kind of cool to see. I'd never seen a track tractor to hayfield before. Oh, i seen that video before. And there was like a million kids in, in the tractor with the yeah, guy too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I think I've already said this before, but um, in your list away, there was a big run of uh, 7,400 uh, deers. Oh, yeah. Calves. 
like hundred horse steers with no calves on them. I remember seeing, I remember uh, seeing them a lot as a kid. Uh, uh, even not, even not the Amish ones. Just like guys bought them up for like hay well, tractors because they were cheap. It's yeah, it's because uh, they were bringing them in from the Amish guys, so other people just started buying them because they were in stock, right? And they were cheap. Like the, you yeah. get the tractor without a cab on it, you're gonna save what fifteen grand, I think. Maybe now it is. There's not many no-cap tractors anymore. Yeah, nobody wants to. Nobody wants to get a third-degree sunburn. I think the only tractors you can get without a cab now is the fives. Uh, there's low-end From... six series tractors. I think you can still get capless. It's only one. Yeah. It's only one uh, engine horsepower option though. Oh. You can cut the cabs off on an eight R. <laughs> yeah. You make a cab with eight R. Electronics. <laughs> there goes your electronics. Ah, uh, they're probably waterproof, right? What? No, like, the wires and stuff going through your roof, you'd mess up a lot of stuff. What are you talking about, Cabe? <laughs> Look at that. Paint what? Try it through a telescope. Uh, Ford did at the end, Zach. Right at the end, they, they Ford guys must have made some fake accounts and swept in and won. Mm-hmm. It was probably Cabe. It's really... It's really came in weird how there's fake accounts being created on these polls, right? You know? Yeah, I wish they'd all subscribe to the channel when they're at it too. <laughs> You're only cool if you subscribe to Tyson and John Body. Who's John Body? Oh. Have you seen the propane tank that you can buy fuel from on my network? No. That's John Mott. Let's check that out. Because it would be cool to have to actually buy the propane, but then we don't have anything to, to no, deliver it. No, it's, it's a propane tank that you buy gas from. Oh. Like you fill up your tractor at it. Mm, that'd be cool if we had LPG tractors, but... I was going to say, um, I don't know what kind of propane you use, but... <laughs> the Amish Parent. built their own helicopters. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing was, is apparently he had a bunch of requests for it. That's what got me. Can I get one of those fuel tankers? Yeah, that people sit out in the front yard and they definitely use to fuel their tractors and not their houses. Hey, if they're LPG tractors, you're good to roll. Hey, uh, what... How many LPG tractors is there? Not, not any anymore, <laughs> but they used to be really common in the 50s and 60s. Colton, what engine do you have in your truck again? I keep forgetting to ask you. I know you, I know you said you're going to twin turbo it there, and that sounds like a wild idea. But I, I'm just curious as what engine it is. I know you told me once, and I already forgot. Nope, oh, we're... Could you stall an IVT tractor out in real life, or will it rev itself up? Don't know. Okay. Yeah, I've I've seen some CVTs like they'll bog down a little bit and then they'll then they'll finally catch it catch that they're bogging themselves down and then they'll find the gear. But I don't know about an IVT exactly. Although I've heard so many much more complaints about IVT tractors than CVTs. So I don't. Yeah, know and that's can. not me trying to be like Case versus John Deere or anything like that. I just yeah. hear a lot more about about the. I could take care of the key. Yeah. Well, CVTs well, again, were never really designed for long term reliability. I mean, look at snowmobile guys, how many times they have to rip their clutch apart and adjust the belt and whatnot. Well, one of my buddies, he works at a gear dealership, and he was saying, brand new 8R, they had a guy on the um, dyno dynoing it. He stalled out the ADAR dynoing it. <laughs> well, you can, if you have a powerful enough dyno, you keep cranking that wheel to add resistance and you'll stall anything. Yeah, but it's not very good when you stall something on a dyno. No, it's not, but I'm saying, uh, if you're using a PTO dyno, and you, because there's a wheel you crank to add resistance, right? Yeah. You keep cranking that wheel. You'll stall anything else. Yeah, exactly, that's what I'm getting at. Yeah. It's just, like, you kept on cranking it. <laughs> what, uh, what is it, a V8 Detroit diesel, Colton? 
Or V12. Hopefully it's a V12, that'd be badass. Oh my god. <laughs> You're gonna have to post a video of that thing running sometime, man. Good old buzzing dozen. <sighs> Alright. Looks like we got, uh, I think we got enough fertilizer here. See, look, and I'm giving this thing the beans, and it just, it wants me to bring that fixed ratio back in. Is that a angry spreader? Yeah, it is. He did a really good job with this. Is, the, isn't the 8-ton spreader have the full, or, like, tarp animation on it? Yep. There's... That, okay. This is the six done. Yeah, it doesn't have the turf animation, but I thought one of them did. Oh, uh, Tayden, that 5070 is from uh, Appalachian's Botic. He did that up for my uh, Mercer streams. I never had a chance to use it on Mercer, so I'm using it on here. Uh, it's private for now, at least. I don't know what his plans are for it. Uh, he's, he actually just sent me an update for it. I, have, I might have to buy a new one in the, in the stream. Uh, it's uh, He just added hoses to it. I know he's not done with it. Still adding a little, a little stuff here and there. Oh, now we gotta, we gotta. <laughs> oh, that K was starting a good old uh, engine argument here, but he's making fun of my uh, 7020 here. making this thing work on these hills. I, may have needed, I might have needed to buy a larger tractor. Mm, probably. Probably. What is that? A six? Uh, 7520, 150 horsepower. Aerial spraying? Uh, I've seen guys use helicopters. Those guys are wild. I once got woken up to a guy, uh, helicopter spraying right across the road. Well, there's the helicopter guy around here. Probably the same guy, a little black one. No, there's a little red one, or oh. a decently sized red one. Oh, okay. This is a little tiny thing. He just puts it right on his uh, little, on a little gooseneck trailer. Yeah, no. this guy's got a custom built bumper pull trailer for his, because he oh. takes it to the London Farm Show. Oh yeah. And uh, lo he loads it up out in the parking lot, and that's <laughs> quite the yeah. job. He know. likes to take a couple of runs at it to like show off. He'll go up, land. It's not good enough. He's like a millimeter off, I guess. Has to come off, land again. It's a whole big hour process. That's why you get one of the small helicopters. You just move it by hand. Yeah. You know what will really wake you up? A huge F-18 Super Hornet. Oh. It doesn't wake you up. I was going to say a Huey flying overhead playing Fortunate Son. <laughs> <laughs> I have Chinooks fly over my house all the time. That's badass. I've never seen a Chinook in person yet. I'll probably be in one tomorrow, so... You're gonna get, like, go. flying in it? No. It'll be grounded, oh. but... Oh, that's no fun. <laughs> They're no fun because normally they, they have their hook holes open. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like flying it. 300 miles an hour with a giant hole in the floor. Don't look down, but all you, you know, you know, you look at the floor, but all you see is the hole in the floor <laughs> for the hook hole. Yeah, I guess, I guess probably not 300, it's probably only like 170, because yeah, those things are a little slower. Yeah, those are incredibly slow, actually. Did you just say 100 mile an hour was incredibly slow? For, for an uh, aircraft, yes. yes. <laughs> for an aircraft, yes, but... Man. 
What about playing chicken at 500 miles an hour? That sounds like a bad idea. It sounds like an air show. It does. <laughs> Alright, looks like we might run out of fertilizer here. Is there like a co-op on that map or is it just at the dealership still? It's just at the dealer. I'm going to add some... That's just as good. I'm going to add some uh, buy points though. We need them. Oh. I just haven't done it yet. Like I spent all night working on this stuff. thing, and uh, I, I got everything done. I just, I'm so worn out right now. I gotta do a, uh, I'm gonna do a, probably gonna do the release post on Sunday, just because I want to get up and ride that ATV tomorrow if I, if I have time. Hey, Nathan, how's it going, man? I will have no time this weekend. Oh, you know what? I need to lime all these fields too, but I'll probably do that after harvest. First harvest really isn't that important. We're just this little chunk here. This isn't worth fertilizing. Uh, easier just to return the spreader. I'm doing good, man. Oh, I've always wanted to see an A10 in person, especially if I got the chance to see it on like the training range, fire its gun. That'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. It's A10s are really like, the only the only plane that I would like to see fly that I haven't seen fly is the Osprey, and I would like to see a Blackbird, but then it fly anymore. more. So. Oh, I'd love to see the Blackbird, but I don't think it's... I, I think it wouldn't be so much seeing it. Uh, you, you need a telescope. Yeah, I mean, they can do some little flybys and stuff. I've done them in the past. Yeah, but, but the cool thing They don't about fly them in anymore, so... Yeah, the cool thing about them <laughs> is them going... The freedom Two thousand knots. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about. Oh, yeah. The cool thing about the A10 is the uh, it's the freedom part. Well, it's a gun that has a plane around it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the A1 Sky Raider's badass too. I love those old. I love the old radial engines. I, I'm, everyone always loves the P51, but my favorite World War II aircraft has got to be the uh, P47. It's got the same armament as the. Uh, it's a P-51, but it's just it's just known for just taking everything out. Hey Nathan, I'm using North Simulations uh, reshape preset. What do you mean, where did I go, Noah? Oh, I think you're asking about uh, Anak here at the air show. Oh, um, I didn't go anywhere. They were just over my house. <laughs> I will be going to an air show tomorrow. What would you pay for it if you just look outside? Uh, because you can't do all the cool stuff. Mm, yeah. Oh, we're in the streaming channel, Noah. Yeah, we're, we're down in the streaming channel. Yep. If you hop in the waiting area, somebody can drag you in. I really want to. I get rid of that stop sign right there. That's uh, that's on my that's on my list of priorities now. Why? What? No always stop. It shouldn't be an always stop. Think about it. This would be a main county road. The other one would be like a line or a minor road. Yeah, I guess. I think he's in. What are you, Kansas City? In heck? Yeah. Which pretty much gives exactly where I'm at anyway, but it's fine. <laughs> Packer has no votes, as it should. Cummins is winning. Okay, well, this uh, is a rigged vote, too. Would you vote for Packer? No, I voted for a, a good diesel engine. What, a Detroit? I love this thing. Detroit. Absolutely not a Detroit. Hey, the, the only good Detroit in Detroit is for two strokes. Detroit made, like, some older Detroits are good engines, but no. What are you doing in, in New York, Abe? That's not New York. He's in the Little Apple. Oh. Dude, the Big Apple's in Ontario. It's right off the 401 by Campbellford. <laughs> I've seen that thing. Oh wow, this thing got straight up reset because of the new components. 
It's all right. Good thing. Uh, good thing Jono told me about that. So yeah, what, uh, what Jono did to this is uh, yeah, let's get rid of the uh, loose spreader. He put the new hoses on it and some new wheel options. He's got dynamic hoses at the back now. So BSL did the same tanks Jono did, like the cool tanks. Yeah. And they got, I seen they got leaked on a Facebook page the other day. Why am and I so not did a surprised? Bunch of with, boxes. With BSL. So he released the silage boxes because they got released, or oh. they got leaked. And I think he's gonna release the uh, mineral tanks too. Oh, I'm not surprised, dude. BSL was just was straight, straight up selling stuff until it got leaked. Okay, so it looks like Jono made these hoses dynamic, which is badass. That's cool. Because wasn't Jono, um, so here's the all, uh, oh, keeping ahead. those tanks private because they cost so much money for that model? Yeah. So, oh. yeah, the story with BSL and Jono is BSL asked Jono for help, like, learning to mod and everything, and then whatever Jono taught him to do, he immediately tried to sell. And that's why BSL and Jono don't, that's why they basically don't work together. Yeah. I couldn't imagine BSL doing that. Yeah, I know, just uh, literally selling stuff, never, literally putting it out for beta and never releasing it until it gets leaked. Couldn't imagine. What an upstanding member of the community. So I wonder how Jono will feel now that that uh, tank model's released. Well, I can tell you it's not as good as Jono's. Oh yeah, it's not really no. the same quality. <laughs> no. It's, it, I've said it before and I'll say it again, BSL is great value at Jono. Not even great value. No, not that, even great that, value. That, 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 that's that, putting a bad word on Walmart brand. <laughs> oh, I love when I have to redo this because I just found out that one of the arms is actually upside down, and I had to take it in the blender and redo it. That's pretty cool. Ten inch stacks? Isn't that like a chimney pipe? That sounds like a chimney pipe. Now, is this a transport truck or a pickup truck that used to turbine? It's a transport. Uh, okay. W900, I think it is. Oh, uh, yeah, it's Appalachian's modding, Kyle. He's gonna go message him. <laughs> Ask him for the tanks. Yeah, tanks. What's wrong with the telephone poles, Gabe? They're from the original map, aren't they? I think so. I think they are. I remember them being there. Hey, why is Kettle in the chat? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Get it. Wait, who's... Hey, Denise. Yeah. I'm gonna call you Denise instead of Denise. Denise. Uh, I, I've, I've heard every variation of my name. Denise. It's a Tyler from Denise Farms. Yeah. The the poles cave. Yeah, just download uh, MB Farms version of the map. Stripper poles. There's, there's all kinds of stuff on them. Like you got the uh, little things at the top that hold the wire, and then some of them have transformers on them. You have a W900, right, Colton? They were asking, uh, Dan was asking what your truck is. So it goes transform cube. Tyson, are you gonna, uh, call it just automoaks, D-E-M-F-E-P? D-F-M-E-P, yeah. Just to separate it, because the other one's, like, called V2 or whatever. And What's the DF and Denez, and Denez Farms map enhancement project. Uh, what oh. happened was uh, when I started on Mercer, was I needed to give it a separate name so that it uh, when you because when you do global company, the the name of the file is worked into your scripting. So in order to make sure I wasn't loading the wrong version or messing up, messing stuff up, I needed to come up with it. Uh, I didn't know what the final name was going to be, and I just kind of just slapped that together and went with it. Yeah. And then it now should be. Pretty, this pretty should be. Oh, go ahead. 
any any mod you do call it DFMEP. Yeah, I'm gonna be. I plan to do more maps in the future. I just don't know what. Probably for 22? uh, yeah, 22 probably. I want to do an Ontario map so bad, but like I've, I've got no. Console Lincoln Creek. Please. No. 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 I'll probably the first right off the bat. Uh, plan is to get Western all of Western Iowa's buildings on console right off the bat. We, me and him talked about that, like like day one, start working on that before anything else. Get some of the first, get, make sure some of the first mods on the in-game mod hub are US spec stuff. So what? I'm saying is I can. On my Xbox, I can. You could have some pretty cool sheds, yes. Alright, now we got this thing drained. We can uh, try to not mess this mix mixture up again. I hate using push to talk because I have it on caps, so it's hard for me to drive. Having to hold down to speak. So I had to stop in the middle of mowing just to say, help something. I know, they were, they were just joking, Kyle. Oh, yeah, having caps lock as you push the talk's gotta be a pain, isn't it? Oh, come on, I, I, I just... I really gotta mess around with these collisions. What the bailer is not public. Gun for your, uh, push the talk. Yeah, no, I had the, uh... The bailer's not public. Oh, I already had this Big one cat. on. And never will be. Wow, well, we don't know that. But probably. I would be willing to bet it will not be before FS22. I think we can agree there. Let's go. Hey, Sin, what do you use for push to talk? I don't use push to talk. If you have a certain role in this channel, you don't need it. Oh, you lucky dog, you. Dude, I own the Discord. You can do what I want. <laughs> no, you can't. I know. I'm just saying you lucky dog, you. See, what I might do there is I'm going to get the lizard conveyors and I'm going to build a conveyor system for feeding. Oh, I'm just going to put one in here. I just haven't got there yet. This oh. is all going to get rearranged, trust me. Just give me time. I'll get her done. You know how get it goes. Done. Get her done. Wait, I can't say that. It's copyrighted. <laughs> get her done. Oh, Thank see, the bean meal comes you. out too fast, and I'm pretty sure I messed it up again. You will find out. For FS22, would you still be interested in doing the pig farm? Like, uh... Depending on how the production like, stuff works, I would definitely be interested in doing stuff like that. Because I would do the map, like, for the Ontario map. Yeah, I... I just don't know what the production stuff's gonna be like to... Like, how... If it's only gonna work with pallets, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. That's my biggest worry. Okay. I, I do not understand a thing you're talking about, but... Yeah, go you. <laughs> FS22 stuff. Mooting stuff. On. Mooting. Okay, we got enough room hey, for right the... Hey, right wad. Alright, let's see uh, if we got enough room to get the hay in this thing now. I definitely need to increase the capacity buddy. on this thing. Just even... Even though it'll be unrealistic. Okay, malware bites, I don't care that I have a free update. I'm trying to stream. Yeah. Even though it's unrealistic, it would be much nicer to have one that's like 4,000 and one that's like 8,000. Oh, I was uh, gonna go like 10,000. This one's 3,000. The, the big one's 6,000. Well, going to 10,000 would make them better than some of the actual in-game mixers, though. Yeah, you're right. Wait, is this thing completely empty of hay? Okay, hold on. We gotta go put some hay upstairs until we can make some. One second, guys. Time to hit F11. <laughs> oh, I was just gonna buy it. I'm gonna super strength it in there for now. We'll buy three bales, because I know it'll hold that many. What happened to the beef farm save? Uh, I'm overhauling the beef stuff. If you go back, I can actually. At the end of the last video, I actually talked about what I did to the beef farming stuff and why it's on hold for right now. Oh. I uh, changed the entire. Floor. It completely changed the feeding. I completely changed the feeding system on it. And then I'm just waiting to make some other changes to it. Wait, does that get absorbed? Okay, that's cool. So 
So as soon as I finish with, uh, I need a, I need a bin from Western Iowa, basically, the way I have it set up to work, and then I can start testing that again. I could probably drop a placeholder in for now, but I'd rather just do it right the first time. Okay, there, we got everything we need to make the team right now. That door closed. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably do, like, maybe 5 and 8 or something like that, so it at least gives you a reason to buy a small film. Yeah. But I mean, like, you're feeding. The, well, this is all in three-day seasons, though, right? Oh, I think when you yeah. set this to a, a better season, better number of seasons, it'd be less miserable. But I think it would it's... Be, yeah, it would be less miserable. It still kind of suck. In all seriousness, it would kind of suck. But you are in an old high stall barn. Oh, are you kidding me? I almost nailed this mix this time. Okay, what if I take some? You got some of the corn silage. And now that's gonna mess up the corn silage part of the mix, isn't it? Okay, let's beat that right out. How do you just take certain products out of your mixer? Uh, Maze Plus lets you do it. Really? Yeah, so now I'm gonna go over here and top it up with uh, corn silage and it should work. Well, actually, let me switch it over to, uh... It's pretty, uh... Pretty much a pain in the ass. See, this is why I gotta redo this, so that you can literally just go down one aisle and take care of it. But it, I haven't got there yet. Uh, like I said, I spent all last night trying to get that uh, 7020 ready to release. It's not going to let me in that. Hold on. So when it's all said and done, there's just going to be a big conveyor here. There'll be two button boxes. And it's going to be a lot easier. And this thing will hold a lot more. Is there a way to disable so you don't tab into the... All yep. the, the conveyors uh, and stuff? Use the, use the park vehicle mod. Oh. That's one way to do it. I forgot to install it. Let's go a little more on this. A little more. And it also helps if you want to play, like, semi-realistically. You could park half your vehicles that you don't want to tab into. Or even if you don't want to play realistically, like, you could park your combine when it's outside of fall, or whenever you're going to use your combine. Yep, that's one way to do it. So I think I'm, I'm kind of tempted to get rid of the, the collisions on the tie stalls too, just so you can, don't have to kind of be a... I thought there was a way in the XML to do it too, if uh, certain vehicles yep, you make can, them uh, you can, Yeah, you can make it so that, but some, some people might want, oh, okay, we're, we got messed up with the VCA here. Come on. So, all right. Well, you're gonna need some more grass silage on that. That's what I'm grabbing. Hay works as grass silage now to make this farm functional. Okay. I figured that was the easiest way to do that. Oops. Oh, they're still off. Come on. Alright. We're gonna drain out the uh, corn and the haylage. You wanna drain out the bean mill? I do. And I guess it doesn't really matter how much of the grass, of the hay I drain out. Oh, or I guess it does. Alright, well I guess they're getting a mixed up, messed up mix for another couple days. I wonder if I put put the uh, lower priority stuff at the top so that you don't end, so you make this mistake you can fix it easier too. You know what I mean? In the list. Oh, mm, I guess. It, it feeds it out in the order you put it in. Okay, we're just gonna... I'm also gonna get rid of the fuel in this thing so it doesn't burn any. We'll just pay attention more. All right, Colton, have a good one, man. Yeah, I, I, oh, the problem is I got the bean meal coming out so fast. I forgot to adjust it. It's gotta be a, I gotta make it slower. I don't think I got, I have a sleep trigger, so let's go ahead and buy one of those. Where are you? Let's just go have a nice, uh, go have a nice barbecue and a beer. Cause I think I got everything done. I don't think I can get the uh, corn in today, can I? Uh, it doesn't look like it's warm enough. Nope, tomorrow. Oh, we don't want to turn that that way. Come on, come on, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Well, I shouldn't have slept for 12 hours, but you know how it goes. 
I'm shutting her down. Have a good night, guys. Uh, DJ, no, uh, have a good one, Dan. Uh, there's no way to do that, but I am going to increase the capacity, and I'm going to adjust, uh, the speed at which the stuff comes out. Because the problem is, if you set it to three-day um, seasons, you do feed quite a bit. You could hypothetically use the fill limiter, but then you'd have to do math, like... Okay, I want a limit to do only 500, and then I fill it with my bean mill. Now from now, I actually want like 2,000 mace sides. So then I limit it to 2,500, so it gets filled up to that point. I didn't know such a mod existed. Yeah, I think it's called fill type limiter. I believe it's on the official mod hub. Oh, interesting. I want to shake whoever did that hand. I can uh, really put that uh, animation there for that Mace Silage. What? Mace Silage dumping down the shoot like that. That's that's really cool. Yeah, dude. That's how it, that's how it is in real life. At least I've, all I've ever seen. So I think yeah. that, that's what I do. Unless you have a belt under it. Yep. Like but it just comes it comes flying because it's coming from it's coming 68, 80 feet up depending on where you're unloading from. It's coming down yeah. in a hurry. I noticed they don't use a lot of straw compared to everything else. I cranked up the use of it. I think they have to make more manure if I want them to make use more straw. Yeah, you'd have to crank, because... Yeah. Okay, there, yeah. we got a perfect yeah, mix. Let's good. keep going. Oh no, we can't, we can't keep going with this. We gotta add more mace. This is getting to be a pain. I should, I should adjust these. We'll do that for next stream. Okay, so we need more... Let's, let's empty this. We got it perfect. Let's empty it. Hey, Justin. Ah, oh, not much. Uh, just finally got home. It's a little bit of a late stream. What are you up to? And thanks, man. I'm glad you enjoyed the tie stall. It's, it's a bit of a pain to work with. I'm going to try and make it a little bit easier because this is pretty miserable. I think in the end I might just have a hole in the floor at the top where you can just back a regular TMR mixer in. Maybe. I don't know. I got to think of something because this is, this is actually pretty... Uh, pretty frustrating Here, here's how you really do it you cut the number of tie stalls in half and then you put one of those station, the big stationary mixer in there there we go that'll do it have all the pipes get in one spot the, that'll that'll uh, that'll slightly affect the profitability of the farm though don't you think okay we're gonna put 50 percent a little bit we're gonna put 50 percent in here probably gonna regret that but that's about how my mixes are. And we're gonna come over here. We're gonna wedge this in the corner so I can get both triggers in one go. Come on. Oh, apparently I had them both on at the same time again. Okay, apparently I did. Alright. Okay, so this is going to come out fast. Okay, I want to overshoot it a little bit. There, I think that should be good. But I'll come over here, put the use the CCN to get the bean meal in range, and then I'll just top it off with hay. And then I should be good. Famous last words. There's no way I'm gonna go get the get everything else in spec now, am I? Yeah, the, that's why. Like, the, this is why the spreadsheet exists. Yeah, <laughs> that's why the spreadsheet exists, and also like, if their your top limit is fifty percent on something, you can't actually fill it to fifty percent because if you're fifty point one percent, it messes it up. Oh no. See, I did it by overall percentage. Well, I leave my. All right, you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna feed everything out separately. Yeah, it's probably way easier that way. Yeah. The only issue is you'll feed a little bit more. Uh, never mind. Actually, no, you won't. Never mind. It, I didn't say anything. Why will it? Why will it use more? Or is that just the way Mercer was set up? You might end up using a little bit more, uh, like, crack corn or something, you know. But the way this is set up, it actually should be pretty close to crack corn usage. 
Love the realism, Tyson. Love it. Thanks, man. The realism is bouncing the thing off every uh, corner of the tie stall. Typical bee farmer, you know, ruining the tie stall. Right. Actually, hey, that's hey, hey, hey. How do you think goat farmers feel? You know what? Actually, we're gonna we're gonna feed out all of the bean meal in one go here. I don't even know why I'm feeding them all this good stuff. They're not even they're not even milking yet. But I guess I gotta get their health up. Uh, we're stuck. We're stuck. We're stuck. We are stuck. Oh. Well, if you remember correctly, the health actually doesn't affect their milking that much. Does it not? It does a little bit, but it doesn't. Hey. So the weight, the weight doesn't matter. Their health does matter. So when they're close to like actually doing it, then it matters. Are you guys just like full time in here all the time now, or like what's the deal? Well, we're streaming. I don't understand a word he's saying, so let's kick him out of the channel. What the fuck is wrong with you? We're, we, we're live on YouTube, I would appreciate if you had a filter. What the fuck is wrong with you? You mother trucker. Is that better? It, it was better than before, yes. So Tyson, pretty much the... What is the... The... The bean mill, that's pretty much just cake, right? Uh, it shows up as cake. Oh, no, nah, this is full of this. Uh, it, it's actually just bean, it's literally just crushed soybeans. You can buy it. Alright, I, I, uh, I took care of the problem. He won't be back for a little bit. Sweet. Until, uh, Ghost probably unbans him. <laughs> because nobody else can. Is that kid a troublemaker? Well, he's supposed to be one of the admins, but he just never gets in here and is appropriate, so... Alright, you love to see it. I'm going a little bit fast right now. I'm going... <laughs> what are you doing? Per hour. I am glitched through the map. That's one way to do it. I don't even Cattle know how ranch. it happened. Just comes in here every time. Every time. He's always complaining about something. He's always, he's always swearing. I'm sick of it. I usually just kick him or disconnect him or mute him, but... If he's gonna be like that, I don't need that. I'm trying to stream. Yeah, there's children watching. Not at this hour, but... I'm approaching three and a half million miles per hour. Alright, so we're gonna... So I decided we're gonna crank up the capacity on that mixer to about double its real life capacity just to make it easier. So it'd be 6,000 liters. And the other one will go to probably about 9,000. And then, uh, what else did you suggest? Oh, I mean, obviously using the spreadsheet, that would have been a good good first start there. Um, I like to give myself, like, especially on the larger quantity stuff, like haylage and maize haylage, I, I like to give myself 5% extra on each side, just because it gives you a little bit of wiggle room. That makes sense. I wish you would have thought of that, but... I'm approaching 4 million miles per hour. <laughs> All right, I'm staring they... at a black screen just watching a number go up. It's really fun. Now, here's the question. Is this going to be, uh... Is this going to be enjoyable to plant without a, uh... Without GPS? Or do you think I should put GPS on this thing? Just F F11. Describe enjoyable. So, oh, I'm not going to F11 it, but I'm definitely going to... Oh! Not F11, but, uh, what do you call it, uh... I'm going to use the, uh, what do you call it? Control W. Yeah, what he said. Yeah, uh, runs like turtle. Me and you are both surprised. But somehow, the other admins keep letting him back in. And I keep giving him more chances. Hands up, don't shoot. I'm not an admin. <laughs> Me either. Now, which one of these is the corn silage, and which one is the uh, regular silage? Because I should have thought about that when I was... Uh, put on super strength. Oh, yeah. Welcome to what game... What... What should we plant today? 
is he going to put in the actual well, the actual crop he needs or is he going to put in the wrong one let's find out on today's episode Yellow. And whichever you end up putting in, that's what you're going to do. Yeah, because I can plant both today, can't I? Yep. Yeah, yeah, I can. So we're doing both. We're, whatever, we're, whatever. By the way, your cows would like some cracked corn. Yeah, DJ, I apologize. He, uh. He thinks he's funny, but I don't think he's so funny anymore. He drank. He drank our iron in. Alright, we guess you're doing the side right now. You can only I can only deal with them for so many times. No, I, I feel I feel like he, I feel like he's on his like 500 second chance. So I, I feel like the I feel like getting him out of here for the next at least eight hours was a good way to deal with the problem. So that's what happened. Okay. <laughs> he used to be funny. Now he's just nails on a chalkboard. <laughs> I, I was definitely confused. Oh, that's that's that, that that that's pretty deep. Wait. Hold on. Let me uh. Hold on. I'll be right back. I gotta go check something here. Give me one second, guys. Okay, we'll wait. How do I get... I gotta go here. Um, there's a way to... Oh, hey, I can actually get my channel in to be Dines Farms. That's one of the settings. I'm looking for a specific setting, though. Do, 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 do. Sorry, guys. Copyright. <laughs> yeah, cut that one off. Alright, uh, there we go. What's he go by? There. Now he can't come in here and ban the commenters. Oh. Um. Just in case. Yeah. It sounds like something that he might think of. Just in Who case. Was what? Oh, I have I have a whole list of moderators. That's why I I went and took him out just in case. I don't know what he's gonna do, but I'm not unbanning him. If Ghost feels like he should be unbanned, whatever. But I I don't know. I'm kind of sick of it. No, I'm talking uh, about. I, I, I warned. Who, 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 oh, we banned Cattle Ranch because he came in here and wouldn't stop swearing. Because I, oh. I, I couldn't hear what he was saying, and then he just started swearing even louder. Well, this thing not I didn't know that was cattle. Why not this thing fill? This is fertilizer. A fertilizer player. Oh, if I... how far back into this thing have I got to go to get this thing to fill? Uh, I believe the. F uh, I don't know. That was a good answer. I thought the fill trigger was side for the liquid. It might be in front of it or right above it. I don't remember. We're gonna find it here. Yeah, I haven't even looked at on that I thing in a minute. Because whenever I use that planter, I just didn't even use fertilizer. I think this is the first time I've ever put the fertilizer on it. I don't think I ever put it on when I, uh... I don't know if Giants even tested this thing. It uses solid fertilizer? <sighs> Welcome to the European people making American mods. Brazilian yeah, in this actually, case. William Mon, but I don't think it does. Yeah, it's the one from the official mod hub. I should have checked. I'll, I'll just double check. He said dry fertilizer. We're just going to triple check. Yep, it does. It's dry fertilizer. Mods. That's. Uh, how, did the, how did I ever miss that one? Oh, the next time I see liquid tanks and I hear dry fertilizer, I'm going to lose my mind. Welcome to Brazilian. <laughs> People. Dude, I, didn't, I I've never seen somebody stuff dry fertilizer in a liquid tank before. That's uh, that's pretty yeah, it's pretty impressive. If they can get that in there. I guess they just add water. Is that how that works? <laughs> I'll Google it. 
<laughs> I, I mean, maybe. This is this is just the fact that it's supposed to be a 30-inch planner and it's on 38-inch spacings already. Already makes this thing take the cake, but that's even that's even low. That's solid fertilizer to liquid tank. I didn't even know that. I normally don't even use fertilizer in my planter, so. I usually just have to live in it. X. Yeah, I probably should have F11. Oh, that would have told me what it took. F11 is life. Yes, sir. When you want to play realism, but you're too lazy to. You That's what we're making what fun of, actually, Justin, is the uh, 2510H. As well, how it takes dry fertilizer in liquid tanks. Mm -hmm. I got a quick question. Yep. Um, I don't know. If, I don't know about you, Tyson, but uh, have any of y'all ever ran a DB60 in real life? Dude, uh, the last time I was last time I had anything to do with planting corn in real life, uh, we had a, a 7,000 four row behind a 50/50 Alex Chalmers. Okay, that's the reason why I said I don't think it apply to you. <laughs> The only reason I ask is because uh, we normally run at a 12 hour strip till. Uh, we normally run probably about 6 7 miles an hour. Maybe. This thing is running 15 <laughs> on a. It's LR's DB50. Oh, yeah. Um, the one like 22 in spacing. Because I haven't ran this one yet. And it's actually kind of nice, in my opinion. On a. Uh, what, what is this? Uh, 9520R and uh for around 15 miles an hour oh you're talking about from assuming I thought you are meaning IRL I was like what? no 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 yes then I, I have oh Nitro Farmer owns a DB60 okay this thing is really how fast do they normally run stealing power here that's the reason I'm asking like this doesn't seem right to me 15 miles an hour I mean no, I think the 5.4 miles per hour with it, uh, is what he said. The high speed planner is a 1775, I think. Oh. Uh, so the, the 10 mile per hour one is a 1775, as far as I understand. I got you. I mean, like I said, we probably, I don't even think we run that fast. Like I was saying, I, probably not even five or six. Like I was saying, uh, of course, we do have the strip till unit in front of the planner, too. So it's, it is a lot of doing. A lot of doing. I can't English tonight. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. Listen, I don't think it, I don't think it's the fault of the tractor, but I would like to put in a bug report that your tractor goes over six mile million miles per hour. <laughs> I'm more worried about this forty four forty that can't pull the six short platter. It's you're fine. going uphill. It makes sense. It's a six row. I, it's a problem with the VCA. Look, I'm holding the I'm holding my foot to the floor on the pedal now. And it's good. Well, it's a 44-40. But like, I, I hate how VCA handles the hand throttle. Like, you can see the red line there is where I got the throttle set, but it won't let it rev that high. Now, where's the field entrance for this field? I don't think it has one, does it? You can find one, make one. Uh, I don't. I want to say it's on. Wait, hit your map real quick. I actually thought it was on this road. I thought it was too, unless I missed it. But, oh well, we're here. Back this thing into the corner here. Kinda of odd to be doing the silage corn first, but we got it anyway. Gotta feed the cows before... Yeah, cash crop. Yep, you're right. But I also need the regular corn to feed the cows too. Well, I'm gonna edit it. You'll you'll be able to harvest. The goal is to be able to harvest the uh, harvest uh, corn too with a combine, just in case you grow too much of it. Okay, are we spinning. Oh my lord. Go get I some just now no, I just now saw the speed of that tractor. Dear lord. Put it in kilometers, it'll probably double it. <laughs> <laughs>
I actually just closed the game. I was done with it. I was like, nope, I'm done looking at this. If you get to a certain speed, it just kicks you out of the tractor. Yeah, FS15 had it way better. <laughs> Burnt out to the sixth row. That's how you do her. Is, did someone help me put uh, custom ground textures in my or Simon thing, or Pretty much any just, map. You just don't take them from the map, uh, you like them wrong, and dump them in. That's all you gotta do. I, I, I don't know how to do that. Sorry. What textures are you running, Tyson? What, what textures? Uh, these are all from Medicine Creek. Every single one of them. What are you planning? Oh, what am I planning? Oh, uh, silage corn. I put the, uh, I put the 30 inch stuff on, but I don't think I did it right. Oh. Go back, it looks like we're putting some potatoes from the single board. Yeah, go back on the outside of the uh, yeah, camera. No, no duels, back. ones like turtle. I probably should have put them on, but I don't think I needed duels to play it. See, there are, it's on 30, 30 inch. With the, the gaps. <laughs> um, that's the potato texture. I know it is, I set it for that. Why? Because that's how you set the, uh, you remember Buddy made those 30 inch uh, textures for when you plant? They work yeah. off of the potato texture, but I didn't want the strip till plowed texture, so I didn't put his textures in, I just set this to seeding width, sure. It's, it's lazy, I know. I mean, that's one way to do it. Uh, it's one way to do it. I probably will end up, I probably would need to put duels on, especially when I do that other field. I hate how this thing just stalls out when you go to do the partial power shift. I might use the VCA soon. I'm not trying to. I might need to go put uh, I need to go put duels on this thing. I think it runs like turtle. Hey, Lee Logan, how's it going? I just completely restarted the thing. I got a version from before I started messing with it. And... I'm re-scripting it again. I want to frame a picture of FS4 and, and show my kids one day. This oh is what your dad had to play when he was your age. <laughs> uh, this thing is just burning through fertilizer. You're kind of putting a lot on. Yeah, I kind of am, aren't I? Let's, uh, let's tone that back and we'll deal with that. We'll deal with that, uh... Wrong one. What button is it to lower it? Uh, K and M. K is up and it's down. So let's do... 20 kilograms per acre. Tyson, are you using K and M shaders? Uh, no, I'm using no. those simulations. They look nice. Yeah, they, I, I like them. He said he's gonna release them when he's done. Setting up more configs for him. Yeah, I'm just stuck with reshade. They added a case of the butt hub today. With the console subtraction thing. Oh, okay. I thought they added that the other day. For PC, yeah. Oh, okay, they waited to do it on console. Uh-huh. Get a Why is it one? Six row. I have I, a, I have somebody working on a 12 row. Okay, since finally I'm gonna upgrade, it's like, uh, Mercer County. <laughs> uh, I got somebody working on a 12 row that I will be using when it's done. Where's your cabin, Logan? Is it close by, or you got quite the drive ahead of you? And what do I think I of the ground textures in FS22? I think they look awesome. I, I like the new uh, how the gravel looks almost 3D. Well, it looks 3D. I mean, it's not 3D, but you, you get the idea. All right, we might not finish this field. We gotta. Get, I gotta finish the stream up by 1 a.m. I wish I would have just keeping track of my fertilizer usage there. Oh, 
Oh, that's awesome. Runs like turtle. I had no idea that's what the, how they did this mud and snow and snow runner. I thought that was just uh, some special mesh they used, kind of like how silage works on farm sim. If that makes sense. I'm gonna head out. All right, have a good one. Later. See you, man. Have a good one, Mr. Cow. I'll see you around. I, I should probably, I might be streaming tomorrow, I'm not sure. The plan is to get the ATV out, depending on what's going on. I would say I wish bad video of, of rain on you, but I, I don't want that bad video of rain to come back at me, so. <laughs> we, I think we got in enough rain. We've had a little bit too much. I think we should send some of it out west. I hate the rain right now. Oh, it's going to be some excellent mud, that's for sure. <laughs> well, I'm not even worried about that in the farm aspect. I got no AC in my truck. <laughs> oh, so then you can't yeah. fog your windows. Unless you roll yeah. the window down. And whenever I roll it down... It fogs up my cab. I didn't know guys did that, Logan. That's pretty... I, I, I always wondered if you could do that. I never knew if people did do that. Dude, oh, it rains a lot, Eli. Free water. Got to keep those great lakes full. Oh, I like old school farming. Jack. There we go. Now we got this planter going at a decent pace. Probably faster than this thing should ever go, but. Oh, I hate that so much. I'm ready to just give up on this for today. What happened now? Don't give up. You can do it. Well, I'm looking yeah. at it, and the more I look at it, I notice that the, the wheels on it are actually out of scale, so they're not an actual full, a whole circle. They're like bumpy. Oh, yeah. I don't want to release that. Why would you shop, swap a 327 in when 400s exist? Well, there's, there's still a lot of big fields on this map uh eli as you can see some of them are decent size but at the same time you can they're pretty manageable with small equipment they're not insane i think five and uh five and three are probably the most ridiculous ones at least in my opinion there's a lot of land on this map it, it, it's, it looks like a small map but you will keep yourself busy i can guarantee you that i think if you're gonna run that farm over there you might need a self-propelled chopper though Nah, you don't need one. You just need... Oh, I'm running an FP240. So, just to get that out of the way. I'd love to do this rake, but I don't... It's just so much crap that needs done with it. It's crazy. That's the spirit, Logan. I've just bore, bore it out, make it a 410, and slap her in there. Must have got that functioning again. for console. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, at this point, I might as well just re-game it completely. Might be worth doing. There's so many independent moving parts, it's gonna be not fun. Has its own special file name now. It's just earned it. Great.
Oh, I'll be doing making lots of hay in, uh, in a few days here, uh, Jack. I just gotta get a gotta get the corn silage in, but this farm is gonna need a lot of hay. Come on. Oh, we're gonna need duels. That's the spirit. And you're gonna have to go put some more liquid fertilizer in. <laughs> liquid with air quotes. At this point, just take a week and in the game it from scratch with not messed up scales, it would be cool. That would work. But that's just gonna be so much time and I just basically this would be pointless today. Hey Justin, that Alice Chalmers is awesome. I remember Rooster Bobs was using it earlier. Uh, he said all the controls on it and, and the dash and everything shake like it would in real life. That's they really put some effort into that. That Julian F guy is a legend. I I really want to see what he makes next. I'm I've never really used much of his stuff. I had the I had the white workhorse over on that farm there. But aside from that, I haven't had a chance to really use any of it. I'm hoping he makes like an old uh, Heston Forge harvester or something. That'd be cool. So I found that the VCA, when you power shift, in order to get it to not just lose momentum, you literally have to hold your foot to the floor. It's like it doesn't even care about the, about the hand throttle. I'll have to, hopefully he updates it for 22, because it's it's needed if you have a shifter like it, in his wheel. It makes it a lot more fun. I mean, it'd probably be the only ram charger that still runs, Logan. <laughs> yeah, about that it hurt. Yeah, alright, uh, we're gonna get that, we're just gonna get that F11. Because we're running out of time here, otherwise I just go pick it up at the dealer, deliver it, whatever. Alright. This was liquid, I just put it back in the truck. But since we're using liquid with air quotes, I'll just pay for the delivery. Oh, there'll be small square bales and a few, a uh, few big square or, or a few big round bales. I should go get a toolbox and put put duels on this thing. It needs them. Maybe next pass. If the next pass is miserable, I'm going to go get duels. I think I've done enough headlands too. Dude, put the 454 in the swather. <laughs> I know a lot of swathers were, had gas V8s in them. Uh, some of them even had those slant 6 in them if they were an international. That would be awesome, actually, Eli. I think somebody kind of did something similar. I, I wanted to get the seed out of a 7810, but then I saw they were like 400, 500 bucks. And how much they weighed and how much work it would be to get it in here. What? It wasn't worth it. And then I had to build a new desk, and it was... I'm, just, I'm good with what I got. I put locking wheels in my chair and bought a steering wheel, pedals, shifter, and a... Uh, 
joystick and bought a uh, mount for the joystick so it sticks out from the desk. Alright. I think I got enough headland to get turned around now. Probably should have did them last. So if I time this right, we might actually get this field done tonight. Uh, go on Amazon, Eli, and uh, search for locking office chair wheels. All you do, all you do, is take your little plastic ones off. Get the ones with rubber on them if you have a hard floor, and then uh, take uh, ro flip your chair over, and the wheels actually you just pull on them and they pop right out. You swap the new ones in, lock them in, and away you go. Uh, if you have a carpet, even carpet though, uh, you're gonna want to get the uh, seam styles what you have with locks on them. But uh, just go on Amazon, just search for locking office chair wheels, and you'll find them. It was the best thing I did to my setup. For the longest time, I, I just had a toolbox that I used. That, uh, that I just put it behind my chair. But if I pushed hard enough, it would move the toolbox and the chair, obviously. No problem, man. Yo. Hey, Rooster. I'm back. All right. Went to a buddy's house. He's moving to somewhere else in the country. So he had food stuffs to give away, so it may have banana bread. Hell yeah. It was pretty good. Also, my bail spikes are now mouse controlled. Hell so yeah, you can man. Or as high as you like. And um, I think they hold bales pretty well, I'm not going to lie. Did that in the mouse control help it hold the bail better? Yeah, you can tilt them up like 20 degrees, so they oh, will yeah. not fall off. Oh, yeah. I had to ban Cattle Ranch earlier. He came in here and just wouldn't stop swearing. Like, really? Like, yeah, every word he was saying was just the F word, so I just banned him. He's asking for it, man. Uh, yeah. If, if you let him get away with it for too long. Yeah. So. Let's pick. Yeah. Yeah, he, uh, he, pushed, he pushed the limits that time. I've had enough. I mean, he, you know, they got to learn a lesson. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta put your kid in timeout. Yeah. Sometimes your kid's only eight years younger than you. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you... Yeah. Seven. Seven years. Are you Everyone planning on bringing him back sometime then? Yeah. All Just with, like, a all... warning of, like, hey, like, did you learn anything from this experience, kid? You know, like, uh, you know, when somebody's yelling at him, say, you know, he's streaming on YouTube, why don't you have a filter? And he says, I don't have a, any, you know, a filter with a couple words thrown in there. And that's when I just fucking alt-tabbed him. I mean, I, I'll swear every once in a while, but he went over the top. But right. I, I just alt-tabbed and just let him, that was it. Yeah. I can't, I'm not dealing with that. You said a let her rip, tater chip. We're taking bales, boys. Moving bales, boys. <laughs> All day, boys. Great day for hay, boys. Great day for hay. Do they say it in the TV show, or is it only in those little shorts? No, they say it in the TV. They had an entire episode where it was great day for hay. Oh. Rooster, remember earlier when I was, like, uh, working on that break? Yeah. So I gave up on that, and now I'm taking it and gaming it from scratch because it's so special, <laughs> I'll say. It's special, all right. 
Yeah, I've flown across the room, Ethan, when I've uh, played uh, ATS sometimes without locking wheels. And Logan, I don't know why you'd ever get rid of anything with a Detroit swap in it. Are you still streaming? Yeah, I'm streaming until oh. 1 a.m. Oh. And then I'm going to hop off, spend some time with her. And... Hi, stream. Uh, you got Rooster Mods in here, if anybody doesn't recognize his voice. Yeah, that's Ta me. Tash, I a question. Yep. Did you say something you can't you can't turn down a uh, Detroit? Yeah, why would you get rid of a Detroit diesel swap tractor? Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, it, well, I, it's, it's, my truck. I'm gonna say, oh uh, no. Ferda. <laughs> I, hmm, I'm not tractors, but in trucks, they're horrible. You can't turn down a General Electric. Now, if you know what General Electric motorizes, you would understand. I know they put them in locomotives, but aren't they still powered by two-stroke EMD engines? Oh, well, they're used in uh, in aircraft, aircraft carriers, and uh, oh yeah, <laughs> and like actual like big fucking the uh, big jets. power plants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's literally what powers most. Uh, Jets these days. Huh. I thought, uh, what was it? What was the Rolls other Royce actually makes a lot of jet engines these yeah. days. Yeah. yeah. Well, Rolls Royce one. makes a lot of, like, the European ones, yeah. That and Pratt and Whitney. Can't turn down those Priuses. What is Rooster Mods made for mods? He made the original 4440 that came out for FS19, a John Deere 400 rotary hoe, and he's trying to get a John Deere 825 row crop cultivator on console, which I'll be using as soon as this corn comes up. I want to use the rotary hoe, but I didn't get a chance to set it up the way I wanted it to. And I converted the 220 disc. Yeah, and the 220 disc conversion. <clears throat> and he's got a bunch of other little stuff on the go, too. Oh, yeah. Hey, Nate, I how's made it going? The, yeah. Oh, sorry. I made the lights for the IH-66 or 86 series. I did the, the the original lighting for that. I made, like, this, this chrome muffler and this um, drop hitch that a lot of people still use. Oh, I, I still see people that. sticking that chrome muffler on a lot of stuff. I know about the chrome muffler, but I didn't know about the... Uh... That, dr that hitch pin? Oh, yeah, the hitch pin? Yeah, I get what you're saying. I use yeah. that on my 7810. I, I keep forgetting to put that on my mods as an option. I just I just made some of that stuff and dropped it for people to use however they liked or pleased. I don't believe you. As separate i3D files with their own udimming and everything. Just ready to go. I remember, right you, teaching box. Me, I remember you teaching me how you didn't work you didn't work with that pin. And I ended up yeah. just I ended up just exporting the one off of your 4440 <laughs> cuz it was the right size, right? Cuz you had yeah. it like, you had it blown up by like 100 times. Yeah, I had it scaled down. And I didn't understand that, so I just, I went ahead and just took it right off the 4440 yeah, anyway. It works. Yep. It works. Whatever gets her done. I gotta hand this bale spear over to a couple people so they can test it and try it, because it's very much a feel thing. Yep. So I can get some mm -hmm. feedback. But, I feel like it's working pretty well. It's a so. little too heavy for this save game. <laughs> yeah, no, I understand. This thing could probably hold. I think this can do two six foot oh, bales. I it can do four to, square bales. I forgot to put the row marker down. The ridge marker. Four big squares. I guess we're going to this side of the field. Lord, what are you making, then? Huh? What kind of bale spear are you making? I uh, just Cave Embry, the guy in the server. One night he came up to me. He's like, "I got an idea for a bale spear. Will you make it?" And I was like, "Actually, said yes." So I actually just made it according to what he wanted. Oh really? Yeah. So. I in-gamed it and everything, and I'm using it right now. Looks all right. It's a little overbuilt, as far as bale spears go. Yeah. But you'd yeah. rather have be uh, overbuilt than underbuilt. It's true. Okay. Uh, I was on the field sure. now. I am. I gotta go over to the other side of the field now because I forgot to lower the ridge marker like an idiot. It made it so you can control it like a. It's also my custom brand. It's like it's a. I made my own fantasy brand for it called Cockroll. <laughs> I, I mean, other than the triangle needing to be put on yeah. there, like, I see no issues with it. But 
like you said, you gotta fill out the actual movement of it. Yep. Logan, there's no such thing as a tractor that's too big, only a tractor that's too small. And that's coming from me. Alright, what do we got? Yeah, there's no such thing as a tractor too big. You want a 96020R to pull that six row planter. Yep. There's the, that's the spirit. All right. I'm hoping. In fact, we, I'm gonna go do it right now. I don't think uh, we got 20 minutes to go. I don't think we're getting it done here. Get, guys, I think we're gonna have to save this for next stream. I might speed up time just slightly just to so get the cattle fed though before we go. I need to make a freaking. My color scheme is cream and red. I need to make a, a logo for cockerel and then make it a decal and then put it on the thing. Just a the big rooster. BS248. <laughs> Alright, so. That's fun. It's not. It was a little bit difficult to set up a custom vehicle type so it could be controlled and stuff, but. Thanks, Tate. Do it. I don't know. I don't think I will finish it, but hopefully I do. Thanks for tuning in, man. I'll see you next time. Well, let's just get a bigger disc. Problem solved, Logan. Even better. Get a smaller disc. Yeah, there you go. Just get a high-speed disc. Get a hope. Hey. <laughs> this is gonna be forever till it's actually done. Whatever gets finished. I'm surprised I haven't ran out of fuel yet. Is that? Is that? I wonder if that's gonna be a problem now. Back. I got set up and I'm about to about to go plant and... <laughs> with your <laughs> with your 96 Nine, pointer 560 scraper special oh boy let's see is there a 4 planter? yeah there we go what are you running for equipment Jack? Okay, this is how I messed it up last time. So I gotta remember as soon as I lower this thing to press Z. Remember, boys and girls, there's no such thing as overkill. <laughs> he says as he hooks a 7,000 planner of any size to a 9620R. I wonder what a strike pipe Prius would sound like. You definitely know when that engine starts, that's for sure. Hey, make it a 10 foot high speed disc and you're good to go, Logan. Alright, does them out. Alright, have a good one, Ryan. Thanks for I'll coming. I'll see you next time. Yep, yeah, see you okay. next time, man. I'm kind of impressed that this planner is making this, uh, is consuming 14% of the engine. <laughs> I think this planner takes a lot more power than what they tell you it does. I'll send you the updated version of the cultivator. Awesome, thanks, man. What's, or what's you'll changed? get it off Mod Hub in the next couple of days, we'll see. But then it doesn't have the hillside cultures, does it? Yeah, you're right, it won't. You'll need those. Yeah, I, gotta, I can just slap them on. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta open it and the rotary hoe up and make them make the rotary hoe uh, a fertilizer tool and yeah. make the other uh, make the what do you call it? Yeah. Now I don't know how that works with precision farming. I might have to actually constantly fill the rotary hoe, which will suck. But I do want to use both. I do want to use both. You have to use the rotary hoe really early in the season. So as soon as yep, as soon as this comes up, pretty much. Well, yep. realistically, the corn's already too high by the time it comes up. It's only downside. Uh, almost. Really? You Almost. can use it at that height? Ah, uh, just at the beginning. Soybeans, okay. you can go a little bit longer. Okay. 
Well, I got this thing <laughs> on 30 inch for a reason. Yep. <laughs> you know, it's pretty sad when your marker is just outside your back tire. <laughs> Would you put triples on it? <laughs> yeah, I have triples on it. Oh my god. Did you see the set of uh, 9000 series scraper specials I saw today? No, I didn't see that. Where'd you post that? I was, I was driving to my buddy's house. I posted it in my Discord. It was a series of, what was it, six of them lined up side by side? Yeah. Um, what are one, they? Two, three, oh, five of them. It was like five 9520 scraper specials and then one 9560R so, scraper special. With the scraper special, why do they use those over just buying an earth mover? Like a, like they a, have more they... horsepower. Oh, okay. They're just a probably... little more suited to scraping. Yeah, probably a probably better uh, <laughs> traction too than a regular earth. earth yeah. Thing. But the earth mover, little, the earth mover yeah. wins in maneuverability and capacity. Yeah. Yeah. That, that makes yeah. sense. I've never seen one of those on a scraper here. They always use the earth movers. Or what do they call it? A belly scraper? Yeah, those. Yeah, yeah. They always have to put a bulldozer behind it and push it though. No, they had four ninety-five twenties and a ninety-five sixty R. No bulldozer to push them. Nope. Whoever set that up was smart enough to know that he know about the wonders of four-wheel drive. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure that those uh, the Earth Mover style ones really only have uh, front-wheel drive, but I could be wrong. I'm not sure. Good news is I am planting at nine miles an hour using thirty-three percent of the engine. Thirty-three percent of the engine to pull a six-row. Nope, it's a four-row. Oh, you're using a four-row? Yep. Hey, we you got... said no such thing as overkill. We got almost 400 likes for NAMA today, 395. Dude, you'll hit 1,000 by the end of the week. Good lord. The big guys are going to catch wind of this, and then we'll see what they think of it. Or they won't say anything. They probably won't say anything. Too high and mighty. Yeah. Us little people busying ourselves with silly things. Did you see Tired Iron made a high crop 4020 for the cultivator? Yes. Would he told use... me about that last night, actually. They... I got onto his Discord. Would they use that for corn? Or was that... <laughs> I always seen the... It was not the high crops were, like, uh, were for, like, uh... Tomatoes, tobacco, all that stuff. I... Yeah, they, well, they might use it for corn. Oh, I think, uh, you could now. I mean, it, no, nobody would buy one to cultivate corn back then, but I'm, I definitely now, a guy, uh, somebody, if they were doing organic, would 100% buy one. Yeah. I was just wondering what if they'd ever... I was just thinking, would they ever have done that back then? I don't really know. Yeah. Hard to say. It'll be a little bit nicer. You'd probably get a little bit less pollen on your face and a little less <laughs> leaf stains on your jeans. Yeah. I'd always, I'd love to run a forty twenty with a row crop cultivator. Yeah. Come on, flip that marker around. Actually, the one I made is actually, as actually during the forty four forty era, or the forty four fifty era. Is That's that where the A twenty five was made. Okay, what came before it? You know. The um, the R, or the like the eight. It was the eight fifteen cultivator, I think. Okay. John Deere, let me look this up. I, remember, I knew this when I was researching. Hey, Anak, when they when those guys did all the 30-inch stuff, did they ever make a version that wasn't strip till textures? Do you know? Because um, uh, uh, these potato ones, they work. I mean, they... I, I don't think, think they're the ugliest thing. No, but I don't know. I think they are the ugliest thing. Really? I'll switch them back. Yeah. I can switch them back. It doesn't, doesn't take much to switch them back at all. Oh, yeah, I mean, you could, honestly, I'd just put a Facebook poll, see if people think it's the ugliest thing, but I I want to say there is some that aren't stripped still, but maybe I'm wrong. It was, the, so oh, it was the FM Cultivator. Okay. They, they, had, they had letter names for them. That, really that old, eh? <laughs> uh-huh. That was like, what year would that have been? The letter name stuff would have it would have uh, they would have kept using letter name stuff for certain implements up to the uh, late sixties for like the BWA disc and all that the RWA disc. This one might be the mid seventies, but I'm not sure. Oh, maybe for stuff AT4. like that. They... That's nineteen sixty six. 
They would have ran some of that stuff like that probably forever on those model. Uh, yeah, there's no need to letters. make a new one. Yeah. Uh, what did the 825 even improve, you know? The 825? Yeah, what it, do you know what it improved over that? Um, it had a little bit of a, a it had a stronger design. Oh, okay, that makes sense. It was a little bit, yeah, this, this one had like, instead of, this one had a, the FM had solid square steel arms for lifting the, the row mechanism, and the 825 had square tubes. Oh, okay. All right, we're going to fill this up. And we're going to head back to the farm here, and we're going to finish, we're going to finish feeding these cows, because we messed it up. I, I got a lot of, I, this is giving me a lot of feedback that I wouldn't get until I release the map, mostly, I think, because I would never test features like this on my own. Okay. We're going to have to put a little bit of time in here to get them to eat the, uh... I don't know why I'm still planting with this four row. Just trying to prove a point. I'm definitely not finishing this field. This is like a 20 acre field. Okay, they are not eating this today. Okay, we're not wasting the rest of the day. We're gonna go back to that field real quick. We gotta get this thing. We gotta get this thing emptied. Um, get it Find a spot on the ground. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, the manure is just piling up too, eh? We gotta. I might. I might lease this field up here. Uh, I also gotta adjust the PDA image, but I might lease this. Uh, how much is it to lease? What field is that? Oh, it's not numbered. I can't lease it. Crap. All right, never mind. I'm gonna number it. Yeah, time to number it. But if I number it, then it won't be grass. And you, can't you stop that? No, you basically, um... Mm. Uh... Who else did a 50-55 series? I think old... Old School Farming has one of those tractors in it, Melanie. Oh, the weeds are already coming up, Rooster. I might, oh. need, to, I might need to crank up that uh, mature state for the... Uh... Yeah, you might need to adjust it just slightly. Yeah. But if the weeds are already coming up, you better get that rotary hoe out now. Yeah. That well, rotary hoe will be better because uh, it goes faster. You can work it at like ten miles an hour or something. Yeah, but I need the uh, I need the what do you call it? Uh, I need the E25 to do the uh, put the rest of the fertilizer on this. Eight twenty five for fertilizer? Yeah, I'm gonna modify it so I can use the tanks on this thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I thought I told you that. I missed that. Yeah, that way I can do two things in one pass. Oh, Makes I, sense. Yeah, that's on old school farming. I love the 9510, uh, Jack. I, I just saw your thing there. What new Holland are you using for a tractor? Oh, this is the second time this has bugged me about this update. I'm just going to let it hide on its own. I don't even know if it shows up in the stream or not. Oh, yeah, it does. Wade's really slapping that rake together, eh? Yeah. That's, that's going to be a pretty good rake. Because uh, it's, what, a, what is that, a 12 or 14, 14 wheel? Yeah, something like that. It's you want to update one. your malware bytes? No, I want that to hide on its own, <laughs> but I don't think it's going to. I think, uh, I'm gonna have I to think you're going to have to go down there. Yeah. Yeah. At least, it, uh, at least the transmission didn't grind with the VCA. Pretty yeah, it, it is the one with the front auxiliary tank, because the one I have doesn't have it, so it's got to be that one. One thing corn with, uh... Oh... What is this called? Gosh darn it. On a three-point mount, with a, uh... Articulated tractor? You can make some interesting corn rows. 
Oh boy. Just shake it around, plant a bunch of corn. I mean, yeah, technically you could. I really should have put the duels on this thing, but we're def we definitely did for the other field. The other field's gonna be a pain. All right, have a good one, Logan. Have fun tomorrow. There we go. All right, this is going to be the last pass, and I'm going to call it a night, guys. Yeah, I'll show you that right before I get off, Melanie. T6 is a pretty good uh, pretty good dairy farmer track here, Jack. I'm more of a 70-20 uh, series guy myself. Alright. Here we go. Last row. Alright, so I'm just going to show this 50-55 uh, series, and then we're going to call it a night, guys. Mm. Uh, where is it here? So I misspoke. One... Oh. No, go ahead. Okay, so it's uh, I'm still working on it. I'm still trying to... I'm, I'm doing my own modifications to it. I'm trying to make it on 30-inch spacing. There's a little dust cover thing back here that's poking through, and then I've got these... Uh, I've got these uh, wide ones on backwards. So these are the wheel options, and then as you can see, they're on, some of them are on backwards. I gotta fix those. And it's got Trelleborgs and Michelins, weight bracket, no weight bracket, and then just the uh, just the engine options. And then the two-wheel drive is the same. Just the you don't have the forty fifty-five I added to that one yet. No, you gotta send me that. I do. And then that's it. Hey, NC Farms. I might be cheating and doing the emeralds with the DB9B. Oh, that's all right, Melanie. Uh, the one you're looking for is an old school farming, though. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I'll see you guys either tomorrow or next weekend. I'm not sure what the schedule holds for me tomorrow. Sorry, guys. I, I didn't give you a better, uh, better, uh, better future schedule, but I don't really have one myself. So I'll see you guys next time. Have a great night.